Police officers have slapped down SNP demands to impose checks at the Scottish border to combat COVID-19. Edinburgh introduced a policy last week which forces all travellers arriving at Scottish airports from overseas to quarantine in hotels for 10 days. Measures have gone further than the UK government's policy, announced by Health Secretary Matt Hancock, which sees only those arriving from 33 red-list countries into England forced into quarantine hotels. The SNP-led administration however had issues regarding a loophole involving Scots flying to an English airport from a country not on the red list and then travelling north by road or rail. They demanded the UK government help to enforce the policy and put up Scots arriving at English airports in quarantine hotels south of the border. But UK Health Secretary Matt Hancock said they would refuse to enforce the Scottish policy at English airports for Scots. He urged anyone travelling from low-risk countries to Scotland via an English point of entry should self-isolate at home. Because of this, the SNP-led administration said people arriving abroad from England would be told to self-isolate at home instead, avoiding the £1,750 cost which they would have to pay themselves for a hotel. Scottish Health Secretary Jean Freeman and First Minister Nicola Sturgeon also said they must give serious thought to English border controls to help enforce their quarantine policy. Ms Sturgeon has held talks with Ian Livingstone, Chief Constable at Police Scotland regarding potential enforcement, adding, I would like to have the most effective system in place here. But Fiona Taylor, Deputy Chief Constable of Police Scotland declared, we are a United Kingdom, and said such checks to help enforce the SNP government quarantine measures were doomed to fail, dealing a blow to the proposals. Police Scotland's Deputy Chief Constable said, we are a United Kingdom and to try to intervene with that would not be particularly effective. She added, we have an enhanced visible presence on our arterial routes at the moment, in the borders, in our city centres. But there are no plans to be putting road checks on the border to stop people passing between Scotland and England. The police chief pointed out, for my colleagues in the borders, many of them may live in Hoyk or Jedburg, but their mum and dad may live just on the other side, in Pontland for argument's sake, and they may go to a doctor in Scotland and a dentist in England. 